Hey guys, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube, how's everybody doing this morning? It is 11.19 a.m. here in southern New Jersey. And guys, I'm still on this um, Bear and Son Barlow kick. Um, I really like them. <laughs> I really, really like them for what you get. I mean, you're, you're, I mean, these were $33. I found these for 33 bucks. Um, I had one. This is the one, the middle one in Rosewood. This one here, I already had this one and I purchased these two and they were $33 a piece. Now, I don't know how you could get a better price than that, guys. Um, as far as a traditional, a nice traditional knife, everything made in the United States of America. Um, the whole ball and wax, USA. So that's what's really making me gravitate towards these pieces. Um, we're going to take a look at them with the construction and all that other stuff in just a minute. And I have to tell you, just a quick note, um, the fit and finish is just fine on these pieces. Now, you're not going to nitpick them to death. I mean, they are, let's face it, they are a $33, $35 knife. But for that $33 or $35, you're getting a pretty well put together piece. Um, and I think that any, any of you guys in the community would enjoy carrying one of these knives. If you haven't handled one, or if you haven't experienced one of these yet, I'm highly going to recommend getting out and getting your 33 bucks together or $35 or whatever site you go on and just picking one up, I'm telling you, you will be happy. Uh, you'll be happy you did it. And um, I'm just saying, they're, they're that good. So let's just take a look at a couple of them real quick. This is a new one that I just got in this bone stag. Uh, let's try and focus this a little bit better. This is that bone stag one. Really, really nice piece, man. Um, these are all four inches. They got nice long, um, long blades on them. Nice long blades. Um, there's no cramping for, um, um, spots to grip up on your hand. You know what I mean? Choking up. You can easily get a purchase, um, easily a purchase in your hand. Now I have a large, the extra size large hand. And I'm on it with no problem whatsoever. Um, the blade is really, really fantastic. The grind lines came out fine. Everything looks just, just the way we like it. Um, got their Baron Sun USA. And it's stamped. It's stamped right there. Look at that action. Now, not all of them come with the same action. Um, some of them come with a little stronger action. Some of them come with a little less. But still, man, still, you can't beat this, man. You just can't beat it. Um, they're uh, they're pretty good. Look at the fit and finish. Um, little gappage down that one side or whatever. I'm just showing you. Um, just showing you because I have to. <laughs> I mean, it's really nothing to be uh, worried about, really. Um, just really well constructed. They're, the cr transitions to meet the bone are really, really nice. You can see that there, the transitions. Transitions are just fine. You got that nice, beautiful, long pull on it. Um, you got this uh, bone stag, real nice looking bone stag on this one. Again, this is like 35 bucks. It doesn't matter which one you go with. They're like 33, 35. Um, depends on which covers you go with. But also you could pinch it. You don't need to use the nail nick. You could, um, you got the pinch right here. See my fingers there. You could just pinch it and it's open. And then you got a nice snap into the open. Real nice snap into the open. And you got your blade. Some say that their blades didn't come sharp. Well, 
sharpen it. That's all I could say. Put an edge on it. It's not going to take that long. You got a stainless steel blade here. I don't know what kind of steel it is, um, but I'm sure it'll sharpen up in no time whatsoever. Just take out your strop or your stone, your ceramic stone, and just sit there and just put a, put an edge on it. You know, it's it's part of the hobby, guys. It's a part of the hobby. Um, but this is just a really, really nice piece. We'll come back to this if we have time. Let's just take a look at the other ones. This is the one I had originally. This is my original one. <clears throat> Excuse me. I love this one. In the rosewood, you got these rosewood covers. Really, really nice looking piece. Um, real nice blade. Real nice big blade on this. Long pull. Uh, just fantastic. Really, really nice piece of cutlery. Action, fit, and finish is really dialed in really nice. Again, you know, I, I just can't stress enough for what you're paying for these guys. Um, can't beat it. And the thing of it is, is where can you find a knife? That's $33 to $35 made in the USA. Made in the USA. You guys all want USA knives, right? But we don't want to pay the USA price. Well, here you go. Everybody wants USA made knives, right? But it's, oh, there's so much money. There's so much money. Here you go. Here you go. Right? I mean, guys, I, you know, you could bring, you know, you could bring the horse to the water, but you cannot make them drink. You can bring the horse to the water, but you're not going to make them drink. And this is happens to be one of them, one of those cases here. It's a fantastic piece of cutlery. It really, really is. Um, get yourself a nice slip to put this in. Um, and you just can't beat it. You just can't, you just can't beat it, guys. You really, really can't. I'm going to get another one. Yep, I'm going to finish out the series. I think I'm going to finish out the series. I'm going to have the whole complete line. I'm going to get the whole complete line, ladies and gentlemen. Yep, because that's how much I think that they're worth it. That's how much, that's how nice I think these are. You look at this white bone. Look at this white bone one. Tell me that that's not pretty, man. Come on. Come on. If you're going to tell me that that's not a nice looking piece, then I don't know. I don't know what I don't know what to tell you. I mean, just a beautiful, beautiful piece. I really like this white. Real snappy action. Guys are cutting the grass right next door to my house here. Real nice snappy action on this, but I really like this white. See all the um, the little flakes in the white? Let's see. This side might be, but yeah, this side's better. Look at the flake. Look at the flaking in the in the white bone. Tell me that's not cool, man. Get a white bone one, guys. Get a white bone one. That's fantastic, man. That is fantastic. They make great gifts, too. Let's talk about gifting. 35 40 bucks. you know what I mean? And you can have a USA... You can forward a person a USA-made knife and feel proud to give someone this knife. For 35 and 40 bucks. It's not going to break the bank. And it's USA made. And you could give it to your buddy. You could give one to your buddy. Fantastic piece guys. They're, they're, they're outstanding pieces of cutlery. Um, I wouldn't let them go. I mean I'm not going to let them go. I'm going to get another couple. 
I want to see how many is left in the series. I think that there's only a couple left in the series, two or three left in the series, but I'm going to pick them up probably. I think I'm going to pick them up just because they're so they're, – the value is there. Why wouldn't I, you know? The value is there. And on that note, I'm not going to keep you no longer than that. I just wanted to get that out there and show you these guys. He's got to really, really – do it guys i'm telling you man order order one of these we're all traditional guys we love our traditional knives and this is a nice traditional knife here there's no reason there's nothing that will be stopping you from saying no i don't want it there there's nothing there that that you wouldn't want in this it's a beautiful barlow i mean it is a beautiful barlow no reason why you wouldn't want to stick one of these in your pocket no reason what whatsoever. Whatsoever. All right, guys. I'm going to let you get down the road. Um, stick with me. Order one of these. I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed. You be good. Be well. Be safe. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Stay well, guys. Bye-bye.